Kawhi Leonard and the L.A. Clippers had not only an ugly was night, it ugly but or an fugly? ugly week. Oh, it was it was fugly. It was, <laughs> it was fugly. Tr- it was fugly. <laughs> it was it definitely was. fugly. Um, and here's what I say, Rob. Because look, Kawhi, he definitely still a top five player in the league. There ain't no question about that. Um, but he didn't deliver. Six for twenty two in a game seven. Uh, zero points in the fourth quarter. In fact, he and Paul George, the two stars for the Clippers, actually had more turnovers in the second half than they had Boy, points. Unbelievable. Five turnovers, four points. They were two for 18 in the second half. Here's what I'm going to say about Kawhi, Rob. He has entered, and it really started this year, he entered a new level. And this is appropriate since it's Worship Wednesday. What we say in church, Rob, is new levels, new devils. New levels, new devils, new levels, new challenges. And one of the new challenges for Kawhi Leonard as he's gone to another level after leading Toronto to the championship last year is the devil, if you will, of expectations. Great expectations. Cause let's, and I'm not saying Kawhi will never be able to handle him. And I'm not saying that's necessarily what crippled him last night. But he obviously buckled and crumbled for some reason. And to me, this is the first year that he's really had to carry the burden of great expectations. And not saying this first year he's been great. But the first year, it's been you've been expected to not only be great, but maybe to be the best player in the world and lead your team to a championship. His first title in San Antonio, he wasn't expected to do it. He was a role player. He averaged 12 points a game. It was Tim Duncan's team and Manu Ginobili and Tony Parker. And you had Greg Popovich. Anything you gave us was gravy. And he gave us a lot. But it was still gravy. He was the finals MVP, but it was gravy. Nobody expected it. Whatever you did was, wow, look at Kawhi come out of nowhere. You know, obviously, he went to San Diego State, so he wasn't this huge superstar coming out of high school or even college. Yeah, we knew about him because of the tournament and all that, but he wasn't ballyhooed. Then he goes to Toronto, and we know by that point he's a great player. But, you know, nobody's expecting you to win the championship. It's Toronto, you know. Then you you got the immature Philadelphia 76ers in the second round. Then you got Giannis, you, who's trying to make, find his way. Yeah, he made a great shot. Absolutely. He made, he made the Fantastic big shot. So, shot. so I'm just saying that's what ramps up his— I'm not saying his, he hadn't been great. No, but no, I'm but saying, I'm saying right. but that that's what ramps up the expectations, is that he made the shot to, right. in a game seven to win. Do you know what I mean? Like, so you're like, viewed as clutch now. Exactly. Right, exactly. right. That, that's I agree. my point. And so, but, you know, Lee, and then you get to the finals, and you got Kevin Durant hurt, eventually Klay Thompson hurt, not taking away, no asterisks, great championship. But still, it was gravy. It was, wow. Kawhi goes to Toronto one year and wins a championship. My goodness. This year, it was expected. This year, you were, in some people's eyes, better than LeBron James. Best player in the world. The favorite to lead the team to the championship. Going to be a top five player of all time, like in a month. And the expectations, new levels, new devils. And in this case, the devils got him because he didn't deliver. We'll see what he does in the future, but they got him this time, Rob. Yep. And, you know, you can't sugarcoat it. I never do. I've seen great players, Chris, and great teams choke. Uh, There have been a big, there have been a number of chokes uh, that we've seen. And, uh, you know, a lot of people last night, they were trying to compare it to different things and where does it fit, you know. Um, when I right off the top all of my head, all time great choke, huh? Yeah, okay. like, right. The all time great choke jobs, and when when I right off the top of my head, Chris, I, there's a couple that just jump out at me, and obviously Golden State won the seventy three games, right? Set a league record, right? 
Right. Hadn't lost two games all year, more than two games in a row, Chris, all year. They're up 3-1 to one against LeBron and the Cavs. They choked down the next three games, including losing two at home, including losing game seven at home, right. which was their first three-game losing streak of the entire season. There's a choke. The Atlanta Falcons greater, are up. Greater than last night. Yeah, that is because yeah, there's a I championship, agree. right? There's a I championship agree. right there. And they had just set the record as far I as agree. the win. So, so I don't even think it's close. All right. Uh, then you had the uh, – Falcons up 28-3, to three, Chris, in the third quarter. Right? It's, it's a wrap. Right. They choked that down and to the New England Patriots. And all they had to Patriots. do was run the ball. All they had to do was run the ball because you would have limited the amount of time by eating up the clock. And they just they only ran the ball, Chris, four times in the second half after rushing Crazy. for over 100 yards in the first half. Crazy. So they were running the ball. They stopped. They started throwing the ball. Uh, then there's a, a, a series – the Yankees were up three to nothing in the world uh, in the ALCS against the Red Sox, Chris, 2004. No yep. team in the history of Major League Baseball ever choked down a 3-0 lead. Never. Derek Jeter's New York Yankees, Mariano Rivera, all those guys, Chris, we all know are legendary. They choked it down. Yep. That's another one. Yep. So I'm just wondering where do you now the Clippers. By so all, you just, would put all of those above the Clippers last night? I think those are as big as they get because they were all in, like, like. well, the Yankees were in the championship, but it was, but it was the to ALCS, get there, wasn't it? ALCS yeah. to get to the World Series, and nobody had ever done it before. Same thing with the Warriors. No team had ever given up a 3-1 lead in the finals, ever. That was the first time that happened in the NBA. But some people look at this as the way that they went down Three to one, the way that they, they, they lost, and where the expectations were on this team. And not just me, not just you, not just Skip. I mean, go through the ranks of people who watch and follow and cover basketball and talk about basketball. This was one where we were all got hook, line, and sinker. We we all w- couldn't believe what we saw last night. Right. And that's why I, I think it, that I- it ranks. I'll put it this way, and as you said, I just saw a video today. I mean, it was Paul Pierce, Jalen Rose. Um, I mean, it, it, most people at ESPN, you know, picked the Clippers. And here's what I'm going to say. We've been had. Hood- <laughs> We've been took. Hoodwinked. Bamboozled. Led astray. Run amok. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> That's what happened to us. But I'm, I agree with you. I think every – choke job you mentioned was worse than the Clippers last night. And I'm actually going to throw in a few more, Rob. See you if got you a couple? Agree. Yeah, what do yeah. you got? Uh, Seattle. I got the beast mode in the backfield. Who, who, Chris? I'm who right. had rushed? Who had rushed for 13 yards to get to the one and a half yes. yard line. And then they don't give him the ball. Okay? And you throw the, so I think that was one. That's a good um, choke. I think Oklahoma City, 3-1 in the Western Conference Finals. Up against Golden State with with Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook in as your superstars. I mean, and I, I put that ahead of the Clippers for this reason, Rob. It was the Western Conference Finals. That's why I put it. And it I was a 73 and 90. Now, I know they lost to a better team, obviously. But they had they them on the ropes with right. good players. And you, and you, have, yeah, right. you got two all-time great yourself. All you got to do is say, Durant, take one game over, win one yep. game. No. Yep. Uh, I think Miami in 2011, even though they weren't up 3-1, they were up 2-1. And you just, come on. I You had LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh against Dirk. And and all due respect, Jason Terry and older Jason Kidd, Sean, Mer- you know what I'm saying? Right, right. They were the better team. If LeBron's himself, there's no question they win that series. So I think that was worse as well. You know, you talk about expectations. Um. So, yeah, those are three that I would throw in there. And, and again, it's just the stage. I mean, this was the second round. Outside of Kawhi, no one else had done it, right? Paul George, I mean, a lot of people, they they almost expect him to, to struggle in the playoffs, or right. at least at Every certain points day, in the playoffs, uh, right? Um, Pat Bev, as much as we love him, he's never been there. Uh, Montrez Harrell, Vika Zubat, you know what I mean? Like, it was they haven't been there. And so it was a big choke job. 
But I actually think all those six we named were bigger. Just because of the stage, the I'm level. Just curious, you know? Yeah, I just like how it resonates. You know, sometimes we could be prisoner of the moment, think it's the worst. What, you know, I'm curious to hear what people think of bigger, you know, biggest choke jobs. Right. Was it last night? Was, was it because of the anticipation? Or some of the other games that we mentioned, what was the biggest choke job in sports that you've seen? 